Hi, I'm at my next theater and uh, people always ask me how the puppets are built. Um, the original International Bird of Prey, uh, Willie, was built by the great Dan Horn. It was my first puppet. I was 19. He was pretty basic, uh, but great for my needs. And then about 10 years ago when I finally wanted to rewrite the act and make him a, a more of a less of a more of a real bird and sit on a perch and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he had to be built a little differently. The original puppet would kind of sit on my uh, hip and my and I just kind of walk around the stage. And this is a little more bird-like. So, uh, Greg Ballora, uh, an amazing builder, um, the Muppets and Team America, uh, and also the puppet had to travel well. Um, he and his wife uh, Kristen built this puppet. Uh, a lot of the feathers are hidden inside the body for travel. Um, the body is uh, foam, uh, amongst other things. Uh, the base is wood. Uh, the problem was, I'm, instead of puppeteering the puppet from inside the back and going up, where the head rests on the uh, arm, um, I'm puppeteering through the back of the head. Uh, that was the only way to get the puppet to sit lower than me on a perch. Uh, and not have to be underneath it where I could still move around as a ventriloquist and be a separate person. The problem with that is if you're guiding from the head part, it could make the, uh, the body fall off. So it's hard underneath and then inside uh, there's magnets and so it then magnetizes itself to the bird perch. Um, a lot of this is fur obviously, but they added some plumage to make it look more bird-like. Um, it does tend to fall off. I have to glue them once in a while. You know, feathers are difficult. Then he had the, uh, he. Ne I needed him to build a way to make the hair plumes and the tail plumes come off so I could protect them and they wouldn't get squashed and ruined by TSA and customs and all that kind of stuff. So he built this little clip that clips right into the back of the, of the, uh, the tail. And then we go to the head. This was really great. Um, the other puppet, uh, the original puppet was foam, and I really wanted this to have a really nice, high gloss look to it. So uh, this took a little bit of uh, exploration in the design on uh, Greg's part, and you know, and he built it for my hand, obviously. The beak, it looks very hard, but it's actually foam, and then I believe it is um, vacuum formed. So it's really soft. The problem with that is it can be punctured. A couple of weeks ago, uh, TSA put it in the wrong way. It pressed up a bunch of stuff against a bunch of hardware and it had lines in it. I was very worried and then it kind of popped back into place. But he did a really great paint job. Uh, the tongue flaps obviously, but there's some shadowing in there. It's really, really beautiful. And again, my hand doesn't go up through the neck. There's a sock and then the head clips into the base. So. That way uh, there's no, uh, well, first of all, it's a longer neck, so it can have that accordion look to it. Okay, now I can't do it right here. Okay, tuck that in. And then I, uh, originally the, the eyes did not have, I glued these eyes on too much. They were supposed to be googly and they're too cross. Uh, next time I do them, I'm gonna open them up so there's um, better eye focus. But for the stage, it's okay. It's not like it's for television. Uh, the hair plumes, he created this little cap Right, and then he had, and it has some lift to it, and then there's two holes in the top of the head, and just like the tail, it clicks into the head. Uh, originally, there was no green behind the eyes. I put that there. The eyes needed a little pop uh, from the purple. Uh, by the way, the feet are also made of the same type of uh, casting. Uh, they're soft. And then the uh, hand goes in the back. And uh, that's the International Bird of Prey, P-R-A-Y.